So welcome to episode 6 of the Inter Milan Master League. I hope you are enjoying the series. Today we're going to change the formation because um, one of the viewers said they wanted to change it because my formation doesn't really work with the players I've got. So we've changed it to a 3-2-2-3. You can call it a 3-3-1-3 or something. It doesn't really make a difference. But for now, um, I've put these players in. We've kept Miranda and Titi, but we brought in Murillo. Medell's going to be a defensive mid. We've got Bia Biani and Felipe Anderson left and right midfielders. We've got Kondogbia in the center. He should be an attacking midfielder, but his overall decreases a lot. So I've kept him as a center midfielder. But in case he doesn't play good or something, we've got Beniga on the bench. And then we've got Kondreva on the right, Gabriel up top, and then Bele on the left. So it looks decent. Um, we'll see how it goes in this Champions League game against Nice. So welcome everyone to Konami Stadium for Nice versus Inter in the Champions League second round. Or not second round, but second game in the group stage. And uh, we've come off uh, a win against Barcelona in the first game. So we do have a bit of room to play with if we do mess up the result. But at least we can test a new formation. Um, and if we drop points, it doesn't really matter like it would if it was a Serie A game. So let's see how we go today. So, big chance for Nice so far. It's a nice free kick, but Handanovic has it covered. Kondreva playing a nice pass in. Medell picks it up. Looking for options. Dembele's made a run. Oh, we found him easily. We found him easily. What a goal. What a goal and what a pass. Dembele, man. I love this kid already. He scored some big goals. It was a nice ball from Medell. He was patient with it. This formation looks all right so far. We haven't scored a, a goal like that before. And look at that. Just opened up at the back. And what a nice finish from Dembele. So here we go again. Kondogbia to Gabriel. Gabriel needs to score. I need to get him, um, I need to get him going. But here's Kondreva. He's going to win it there. Played across. Finish at Gabriel. He hits the post. Unbelievable. Medell wins the header. Now we can turn his Gabriel again. Play it to Kondogbia. Kondogbia looking for a pass. That's a decent ball and it's a second goal. Kondreva, I think, scored that. And we're absolutely dominating Nice. Um, this formation has worked, a t has worked a treat so far. Um, I think his name's Timothy. Thank you for suggesting this. I should have used this earlier. But look at that. Two goals so quickly. Balotelli loses out again. Look at that. Umtiti is a rock today. He's running with it. We play it to Dembele down the left. And now we've got to look for a runner. Dembele's happy to hold it. And it's a good ball. Gabriel can't get up for it. Kondogbia takes a touch. Ooh, decent effort. But it just goes over. Look at that. He's just giving it to us. Gabriel with a big chance. He passes it in. It was a finesse. It wasn't a pass. But it looked like a pass. Finally, we've got Gabriel going with the goals. And that's his first goal, I think, this season. So it was a big mishap from the defender. He played it to Dembele. Dembele picks up an assist. A nice ball in and a cheeky finish. Medell. Medell's been a rock all game today. He's won every header. Look at that. Gabriel. He'll get there. Gabriel. Oh, it's a good save. And here's Balotelli now. Looking for options. There's a nice ball over the top. And we block it. I don't know if that was a handball there. But Balotelli comes charging in like a bull. And that's going to be half time. A really dominant half for Inter. 3-0 up. Maybe we'll make some changes early. And see, um, see if the other players can play in this formation as well. So I'm going to make two early changes. Because we've got a game in three days time. So Martins. Um, Idea is going to come in for Gabriel. And... Benega is going to come in for Kondogbe. I haven't really used Benega yet. And we might bring in Icardi for Kondreva later on. So here's Balotelli again. We're just cutting him out all game. But he gets it back. Big chance. Oh, it's fell, fell to them. And it's a good save by Handanovic, who's really been a great keeper so far this season. Nice didn't really look like scoring. But if they would have scored there, they could have been back in it. So here's Kondreva. Plays it back to Benega, to Felipe Anderson. To line one up, a decent strike, and uh, didn't really trouble the keeper. So it's the 60th minute, we're going to make one more change. We're going to bring in Icardi, and uh, I might bring Adair to the right. We're going to bring Icardi up top. Balotelli again picking it up. Nice have just done nothing today. They've just offered nothing. And we've just been really solid. 
even defense-wise. We, we haven't really looked very vulnerable, vulnerable at the back. And he's Martins, plays it. I see someone down the left, Felipe Anderson to pick it up. We all know what he can do when he plays. He's going to come down the line. Decent cross back post. Oh, we found someone and it's a goal. I think it's Adair. And another goal for Adair. Uh, what a ball from um, Felipe Anderson. He picked it up down the left. And I was going to cut in with it, but I thought, they're closing us down. We might as well go down the line. A beautiful cross back post. And Adair, with the slightest of touches, turns it in. And Titi wins it back again. We win it back again. We're just killing them physically. We're just killing them. Icardi to pick it up. Plays it off. No, we're looking for that pass to... Uh, actually, Benegas picked it up. Tries to finesse it. Gets blocked. Look at this. Look at this domination. Here's Martins. We're going to try and grab a goal here. Offload it. Felipe Anderson to have a strike. And what a shot. I thought I was in. So, Medell wins it. Can we, get, can we get a fifth goal before the game ends? We offload it to Felipe Anderson. He's going to have to try and beat someone, but he's got no stamina left. Let's see if we can do anything here. Icardi, what a tackle. Now it's come to Dembele. He's going to play it inside. Oh, we just couldn't get him. Felipe Anderson wins it. He's going to beat a few. Play it across. What a touch. Oh, it's going to be Icardi. And he scores. Icardi grabs a goal. Nice have been dominated all game. They've done nothing. We have pumped them. And I think it's this formation, but time will tell. Absolutely killed them today physically. And, and we put all our, most of our chances in the back of the net as well. So that is full time straight from the kickoff. And a very convincing performance by Inter. I think this, this was our most convincing win so far. And we played so good. Everyone grabbing goals here and there. We scored some fantastic goals. And I'm happy. So here are the results. Barcelona drew with Sporting. That's good for our group table. Um, Madrid beat Ajax. Club Bruges lost to Napoli. PSG drew with CSKA. Basel beat Spurs 4-2. Spurs not doing very well at the moment. Benfica beat Besiktas. And Dinamo Kiev lost to Bayer Leverkusen. Um, Lyon beat Dortmund. So that's a big result. Sevilla beat Mushawash. I don't know. 3-0. Leicester lost to Feyenoord. Fiorentina beat Zagreb. PSV beat Frankfurt. Arsenal beat Hoffenheim. Juventus beat Schalke. And Atletico Madrid beat Braga. So a quick look at the table. We are sitting comfortably on six points. Barcelona haven't started good at all. And they're going to have to play catch up with four games remaining. I think they can get out of the group. Um, but I think we're going we're gonna to qualify easily. So it was a decent month for us. We had three wins, one loss. Um, and that loss was to Napoli. Kondrava scored two. Dembele scored two. Kondogbia with one. Dembele with two assists. And Dembele was our best player in terms of the ratings. So the team of the month. And uh, we only have Kondogbia from Inter in that team. So the next game is going to be against Cagliari. And I'm, gonna have, I'm not going to say that name anymore. I've had enough of it. Um, I can't roll the R. That's the problem. I can't roll my R's when I pronounce Italian words. But um, we're going to keep the same lineup except... Adair is going to start on the right for Kondreva. And um, I think we should be alright like that. Considering we played really well with the players we had. So we are back at the Studio Orione. I don't know where they come up with these names. Um, Cagliari versus Inter. Inter coming off a big 5-0 win against Nice. They absolutely killed them with a new formation. Things are looking up for them. And the team spirit is looking up as well. So let's see how they perform today. So everyone says to press circle when there's a corner. So let's see if it works. I'm going to press circle. Still doesn't jump. And they always look like they're going to score with a corner. We just got to try not... Don't concede corners in pairs and you win the game. Simple as that. I'm going to have to cover him. That's a good ball into Sal. And we sort of bump into each other again. And Sal gets an easy tap in. Our defenders just bump into each other there. And Kaliri go 1-0 up. So Sal made a great run. Initially, we had him covered. But then look what happens here. We win it, and then it just bumps into Umtiti. And uh, it's an easy finesse finish, to be honest. Marco Sal again. What a touch. And he almost grabs a second. Get rid of it. Get rid of it. Marco Sal, man. A danger man. 
Felipe Anderson brings it forward. Played inside. Gabriel. Nice touch. Referee, that's got to be a yellow. Medell. Nice pass inside. Gabriel. Oh, this guy's getting on my nerves. Oh, he's won it back, and it's a, it's a call. <laughs> Dembele picks up a goal, and I told you we needed a bit of luck. Um, I don't know if that part's going to be in the video, but I said we need a bit of luck to go away. And that, that's the kind of luck I'm talking about. Gabriel was getting on my nerves. But look at that, the keeper. He just Dembele, fantastic positioning. That's probably a goal that he didn't expect to score today. So now we can go forward and grab a second, I believe. Dembele, man, he's playing very well. And that is half-time, one all. A decent game so far. We've had that one chance, um, and we it was sort of like a luck goal, to be honest. But Cagliari, they had that chance with how they took it, and it's going to be an interesting second half. So we're going to make one change. My man Gabriel is going to come off for Kondreva, and uh, let's see if we can grab a second. Now, Umtiti hasn't had a bad game, but he's been a bit sloppy, even Biabiani, but their morale isn't down, so I'm going to keep him on. Um, and let's see if we can grab a second. Here's Borriello. Plays it to Sal down the left. Miranda's coming across. I see someone. They're all free in the midfield, in the middle. That's a decent shot. Handanovic with another save. So man-to-man -man marking. We're going to press circle again. And let's see if we can win a header. Another chance. And they almost score again. I think that's, a, that's another corner. So we're going to make some changes. Dembele's going to come off because he's really dead. Um, Perisic is going to come back in. Uh, I don't know who else. Maybe Palacio. I'm going to give Palacio a run up top. See what he can do. And that's it, I think. So here we go again. Kondogbia. Now he has room to turn. Palacio to hold it up. Ah, oh, just can't, can't work nothing. We've won it back, though. Perisic is going to have to go himself. I don't know who to pass it to. Here's Felipe Anderson. Have a crack. Have a crack, Felipe Anderson. Takes a deflection. We get the header. And a lucky goal, you would say. We didn't deserve it. I mean, we did deserve it. But the way it happened, it wasn't really ideal. It was a bit, it was a bit weak, you know. Um, it was a rebound off the keeper's save. But Felipe Anderson did well to take the strike. And, uh, yeah, the ball fell straight to Kondreva. So they're playing it around at the back again. We've got a lot of pressure on them. Here's how, oh, he offloads it, that's a big chance, and it's 2 all now. Cullity have got their goal back, and it's De Santa. Oh, that's not what we wanted. I wanted to shut up shop, and that was it. We're going to have to take the draw, I think, today, boys. So we're putting a lot of pressure on them, and they sort of opened us up. And uh, that's all it took, you know, a couple passes here and there. We just weren't man-marking, it was a nice finish. So we're pushing up, looking for a third goal to win this game. Here's Biabiani, offloads it. Kondreva gets absolutely crunched. We get a second chance with it. Here's Biabiani again. He's going to have to skip past a few. Puts in a cross, gets a corner. This is going to be our last chance. So it's going to take a good ball. Kondreva's going to have to take it. Let's see what we can do. A nice ball in here. Could win us the game. And the keepers come out. And that's going to be it, boys. I think there's still a few more minutes. We're going to have to put a lot of pressure on him to win the game. Ja Miranda has to come up and win it. Does well. Medell plays it to Kondogbia. A quick attack here. Play it through. That's a poor pass. Palacio has to put pressure. There's one minute left. Sal will pick it up. Going to have to go again. Here we go again. Offload it. See if we, see if we can work something. Palacio half asleep. And those types of games, they feel like draws. And that's what happened today. Two all. I thought we won it. I thought we had it. And then they scored really quickly again. Two all, boys. So it wasn't the result we were looking for, but let's take a look at the other ones. Juve beat Bologna. Um, Kiev beat Genoa. Fiorentina beat Crotone. Empoli beat Atalanta. And Lazio beat Udinese. AC Milan beat Torino. Uh, AC Milan drew with Torino, sorry. Um, Napoli lost, which is a good result to Sassuolo. Sampdoria drew with Palermo. And Roma beat Pescara. So that draw really hurts us. We go back to six and uh, 11 points. You know, we're only five points from Roma, but we've got to really start taking those wins. We can't afford to keep dropping points. And I know it's because the team spirit isn't all the way there yet. And I, I, I feel really confident with the team. Um, I just have to see how we go. It's still early days. We've only played like six games. 
so it's very tight still. So let's take a quick look at our schedule coming up. We play the first leg uh, of the Tim Cup against Latina Caltro, and then we play them again two days after that. That's not really ideal. But then we play Sporting in the Champions League, and then we play Crotone in the Serie A. So there's a few games before we go back to the Serie A, um, and it's a good chance to test out some players. This is going to be a heavy schedule. We're going to have to rest some players in between this little part here. And then we go, do, go down to the Serie A. Um, and then we go back to Fiorentina, Atalanta. We play Juve really late. We play the big teams really late, like Sassuolo, Roma, Barcelona, AC Milan. We play them really late. I think Juventus is one of our last games. Um, so that's all right for us. I guess we can rack up the points before we start playing the big teams. But yeah, until then, um, join me next time where we play Latina twice. It's going to be an interesting episode, I guess. And hopefully we get the team spirit going. And I think next game I'll run with this. I'm going to bring Biabiani up top because he has more pace than Kondreva. And Kondreva is going to play right midfield. And Brozovic will come in for, uh, um, what's his name, Medell because Medell's morale is down. And yeah, I don't know why Brozovic is tired. Maybe it was international break or something. But yeah, until next time, thank you guys for watching. Please have a big thumbs up. Please subscribe and I'll see you guys then. Peace out.